Let me just ask you to give me an idea of what actually goes into building from framing sure. ideas on. What's going on on the roof? Um, well, what we got going on here is we have a non-penetrating system that uh, more or less sits on the two party walls. That way, uh, it more or less reinforces the roof rather than put additional pressure on the roof. And right now, with a lot of the homes that we have are in D.C., a lot of customers prefer that. That way, it's non-penetrating. They never have to worry about any type of leaks down the road. Show me what So, for example, if you see here, you have this pressure-treated lumber, which is the 2x12s, that more or less are mounted directly onto the party walls themselves. As you can tell, this more or less structures, it's more or less like an additional layer on the roof so that when there is any type of um, snow load, it actually supports the snow, pushes it to the side. So down there, actually, it's above the roof. Yes, and what this does is this allows the owner at a later point, if they want to replace the roof, put another layer of coating on. This allows them to, for the roofer to actually come here and work on this. That's the nice feature about this type of installation. And this is, tell me what all of that is. This is the hardware that's required to install the solar modules. This is what's referred to as the railing system. The railing system is what is used to support the weight of the actual solar modules. In a few minutes, you're gonna see these solar modules all connected. This is used as an angle. This is what's used so we can angle the pieces up directly so they're more facing towards the sun. Flat installations are ideal, but you always wanna put them at somewhat of a degree of a tilt so that way it washes off all the rain. As you can see, the solar modules are going to sit directly on top that are going to span these two rails. What happens to that solar module, as you can tell there, faces directly towards the south, which is the sun. And from there, the solar modules get the electricity, produce electricity, and then push it down into the house, into the panel. This right here is the Canadian solar 230 watt modules. This is a um, polycrystalline cells. As you can tell, it produces approximately 230 watts. That's what it's rated at. In reality, it's probably going to produce around 200 watts in real life condition. And if you can tell, all these cells are connected together and the back of the panels have a positive and a negative feed. These two positive and negative feeds directly connect to the other solar modules, as you can tell at the bottom, and they connect together allowing electricity to pass through these two wires. As you can see from the back of the solar module, right now what's happening is that they've connected the microinverter to the back of the solar module. So that's the positive and the negative. And the microinverter is a device that it's more or less uh, keeps a data tracking of what the solar module is producing for each module individually. See right now what they're doing is this is the first row of modules they put down. It's kind of important because this is how they line everything up all the way back. And how much is one module going to produce of energy and how much uh, is well that made up sure. Um, that module right there is a 230 watt module. That means that it's supposed to be producing 230 watts of electricity. And that's in a perfect environment. 230 watts, for example, you have a 65 watt module or 65 watts uh, light bulb. I'll tell you, that's going to run off about three or four of those, maybe five. That's what that one of those produces. So when you add them all together, it starts becoming a pretty large system. And then if you think about it, it's over time, that's what really gets you the bang. Right off the bat, you might get maybe 50 to 70% savings. Some customers that get larger systems, they get 100% of them covered. Everything is covered, so they don't have any more electric bills. Yeah, we have customers that are getting 9, 10 kilowatt systems, about three times the size.
hardest part. Yeah, no, the hardest part is getting this framing. I mean, what we do is actually probably a lot more complex than most of the installs because most of the regular ones, they just penetrate the roof and that's it. So this is actually building another whole support structure on top of the roof. So once this is up, I mean, this is the easiest part. 